All right, so let me tell you what the problem with this thing is. To start off with, it is a one horsepower pump. And initially, we were running the water out of a three quarter inch hose and we kept losing our prime, kept, kept blowing up the hose and all that stuff. So we put in a one inch hose and that solved the problem until it didn't. Then what would happen from time to time is it would lose its prime and uh, had to call the well guy and get it all primed up again. And this happened four or five times already. So come to find out what the problem is. If you have one inch hose or even three quarter inch hose, if you run that full blast and shut it off completely so it's 100% off, 100% on. If you do that, then it runs okay. However, the automatic water feeders work on a very small drip. So what the pump does, because it is pressure regulated, it senses that as a leak. And then it brings the pressure up and immediately shuts it off because there wasn't much missing. And because of this rapid on off, it opens up the pump and closes right up and it loses its prime. So that pump is too powerful for something like that. So my solution was to isolate that chicken coop from the one inch, one horsepower uh, water system and go to a uh, one inch, half horsepower pump at a much lower pressure and uh, that will isolate the automatic water feeders so it will not sense it as a leak anymore and uh, it shouldn't have that problem unless of course you have a leak somewhere uh, but as long as you don't uh, have a leak, it'll be okay. And the automatic water feeder will be on this pump here. And it won't react that way. It, it'll come on and off as it loses pressure. But it, it will not have that, you know, big impact of on and off like that one horsepower uh, pump does and uh, it'll be no problem so yeah all I have to do is finish it when all this is done I will make these connections here and uh, voila we'll be in business all right we'll see what happens now here is another issue that this pump has. And all I could say is probably vibration. But I really don't know. If you look at this, this has been replaced twice or once. This is the second time. This is the second one. And then here, After a while, it will leak. And as you can see here, there's plenty of rust there coming down this way. So I need to figure out a way to stop this. What I was thinking is 
right here where the connections are, add a flexible piece of pipe to, to make the connection. So any vibration will be absorbed by this flexible pipe and stop this leaking. Because this pump here does not tolerate any leaks whatsoever. The other thing I need to do is replace this valve. Now as you can see, now as you can see, there's rust there because it leaks. So I need to replace that with uh, a different brand I guess because I had bought several of those and this one is leaking and there is a uh, there's a valve right there in the corner on the other side that was bought at the same time I don't remember the brand but both of them are doing that so I need to replace them with a different brand so with that leaking it, 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 it will it will work okay if you put it just in the right position otherwise if you close it all the way it, it uh, it'll leak so as long as you find the right spot it's okay so instead of going through all that I'm going to replace it then the other thing is is it, it doesn't interfere with anything but it is a big headache is you have a tank here that you have uh, one of those uh, shutoff valves and you have to manually turn it on and off to fill this tank so what I need to do is add a float and solenoid valve so it will do this automatically same thing with that tank over there right now it has a mechanical float but what happens is that as it's reaching the uh, full level it cuts down the amount of flow to where it goes into a trickle and then the pump sees it as a leak and it uh, creates a problem so I also need to add a float with a solenoid shut off valve to that so right now we've ordered some and uh, we need to uh, well get them and then install them but uh, as you can see I've got a lot of projects here right now my focus is getting that ventilation into this uh, chicken coop yesterday I installed uh, the window into the first coop so today I will make the panel that will go into the second one and then it's a matter of uh, well it's a matter of cleaning up all the mess that the block makes everywhere but that's okay so we're still on track for getting some chickens by the end of the month so I need to get busy all right so hopefully these uh, changes to this one horsepower changes to this one horsepower well will eliminate the problem of losing prime of course time will tell all right thanks for watching see you next time แล้วปากกันเห็นไหมนะเจ้า See you